everyone, it's K. Welcome to the new leveling guide for K Spectre Summoner. This leveling guide series is targeted towards newer players. This video is full act 4 rank, where I speed up the boring bits and leave the important stuff at normal speed. You can click on the playlist link at the top right to see the other acts. Okay, let's get started. When you exit the Scepter of God, you will be in the Aqueduct. Go all the way to the end to find the High Gate, which is the Act 4 town. Exit bottom left to the right leg. Search the zone for wall. You can find him by looking for the crafting recipe or book icon on your map. Pick up the shred banner and return to high gate. Click on the shred seal, but don't go into the mines yet. Say hi to Nicole, then talk to Oyun and take Stone Golem. If you which is level 34 or higher, link Stone Golem with Raise Zombie, Minion Damage, and Meat Shield. Start pathing towards Grave Fact. Enter the mines. As you run through the zone, you will find Sulfite. This is needed for dev content. Find your way to level 2 and search for the Shred Spirit, which has a yellow mark. Then look for the entrance to the crystal veins. You can find the excavated hideout in this zone. Then look for a waypoint and go back to Highgate. Take the skill book from Tasuni. I picked up a layered kite shield, which gives plus 8% to all elemental rays, so I'm replacing one of my wands. I hit level 35 so I can finally link Stone Golem with Raze Zombie, Minion Damage, and Mid Shield. All the other gem links are still the same as Act 3. Pass towards Grave Pact. Take the waypoint back to the Crystal Veins. And enter Dares's Dream on the right. Make your way through the zone to find the Grand Arena. Activate the waypoint, then find the ring of blades, which is the boss room.
allocate any passives before the fight. Pass towards grave pact. The wrestler isn't a difficult boss. Stay out of melee range, stay away from the spinning swords, and stay out of the ring of crowns. Take the Eye of Desire and portal to Highgate. The next sun has heavy fire damage, so make sure your fire rate is 75%. Go to your hideout and craft fire res if you need to. When you are ready, take the waypoint to the crystal veins. Talk to Diala, then enter Calm's dream on the left. Make your way through the zone to find Calm's stronghold. the waypoint, then find the caldera of the king. I quickly with some spectres for extra meat shields. But you don't need to do this. The trick to this fight is just to keep moving. Also watch out for the fireballs and pick up the Eye of Fury and portal to Highgate. Continue passing to Grave Pact. In the next zone, some monsters can apply a bleeding effect. So I recommend crafting a bleed removal flask. Go to your menagerie by clicking on the waypoint and then clicking on the skull icon with red background. If you don't have the icon, you need to talk to Aiher in Act 2 for its encampment. Note that you will fight monsters when you craft in the menagerie, so you might want to precast SRS and Totem. Open the blood altar and put in a life flask. Select Arts of Stunting, then click on Craft. When all the monsters are dead, open the blood altar to get your bleed removal flask. Take the waypoint back to the crystal veins. Talk to Diala and enter the belly of the beast. Make your way to level 2, then find the bowels of the beast. This is the Act 4 Piety fight. It can be a difficult fight, but hopefully this guide will help you. Allocate any passives before the fight. Take Rave Pact. The boss fight starts as soon as you enter the room. Cast your SRS and totem as usual, then stand close to the boss. Try to stand behind the boss to avoid the melee attack. The boss casts a big red ball of death. It does a lot of damage, but it doesn't move, so just avoid it. The boss will glow orange, and then cast a red beam of death, which moves like the hands on the clock. Just stay close to the boss and run in front of the beam. When it's finished, go back to casting SRS and Totem. Talk to Piety and enter the harvest. Find and activate the waypoint.
to the three mini bosses and pick up three quest items. Talk to Piety and enter the Black Core. The fight has two parts. In part 1, the boss will stand in the middle and do a weird tentacle attack and a big slam. Keep moving so you don't get hit. There are also flying red balls and landmines that are also red. Try your best to avoid them. After the boss takes some damage, Piety will shout out kill me and you need to attack her instead. Then go back to attacking the boss. Then another kill me face. Piety gets a big spike and the boss goes down into the black heart. Enter the black heart for part two. This is what I get for trying to be a bloody hero. Now, let us see if you truly understand what it means to be nightmare. This part has severe phases. First you can damage the boss and then he will activate a heart of the beast. You need to kill the heart before you can attack the boss again. This happens three times. While attacking the boss, there will be zombies, landmines, flying red balls, and floating red circles of death. At the same time, the boss will be doing his tentacle attack and a teleport attack. Try your best to dodge everything. The boss's death animation takes a long time, so just open your own portal to return to Highgate. By Spherical from Pitarius and Venger. Take Unleash from Diala. Unleash is the most important support gem for Summon Raging Spirit. The three seals create four Raging Spirits from a single cast. Link Unleash with SRS, Infernal Legion, and Minion Damage. Exit to the Ascent. Go all the way to the west to find a lever, which has a yellow mark. Click on the lever and enter the obvious portal to go to Act 5. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the leveling guide for Act 4. Let me know what you think in the comments below.
Thanks for watching. Bye.